Penn State history. I am proud, honored, and indeed humbled, Chair Schuyler, on behalf of the Presidential Recruitment and Selection Committee to recommend Dr. Neely Bendapudi to be Penn State's 19th President. Dr. Bendapudi has served as the President of the University of Louisville since April of 2018. In this role, she has made the university a great place for students to learn, a great place for faculty and staff to work, and a great place for alumni and the community to invest. Under her leadership, the University of Louisville advanced diversity, fostered equity, and promoted inclusion in all areas of its operations. With nearly a 30-year career in academia, Dr. Bendapudi has taught marketing and served in a variety of administrative roles including as Provost, Executive Vice Chancellor, and Dean of the School of Business of the University of Kansas, Kansas, and Founding Director of the Initiative for Managing Services at The Ohio State University. With a focus on collaboration and development, Dr. Bendapudi has dedicated her career to creating opportunities for students, faculty, and staff to thrive. She's also renowned for her expertise in customer experience. Her research has appeared in numerous academic publications and national media outlets, not the least of which have been the Journal of Academic Medicine, the Harvard Business Review, the Journal of Marketing, the New York Times, and CNN. In addition to her research and academic leadership experience, Dr. Bendapudi has also worked in the private sector. She served as an executive vice president and chief customer officer at Huntington National Bank at the time a top 30 U.S. bank with $55 billion in assets and 12,000 associates. She's also consulted for dozens of the world's largest companies, including AIG, Procter & Gamble, and our own United States Army. Dr. Bendapudi is a highly sought after keynote speaker and is a former Leadership Foundation Fellow of the International Women's Forum. She's one of a select group of women selected worldwide for this prestigious honor. In Dr. Bendapudi, we have found a values-driven leader who will help realize the very best of this institution and will successfully lead Penn State into the future. Through my discussions with Dr. Bendapudi, it was clear that she is an authentic person of the highest integrity. She has strong academic values. She is deeply committed to students, faculty, and staff. She's dynamic and accessible. She is committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and she is a savvy business and financial manager. Furthermore, it goes without saying that this is a historic moment for Penn State. In addition to her stellar credentials, Dr. Bendapudi is Penn State's most diverse president in our long history and a member of a very select group of diverse college presidents of AAU institutions. With great pleasure and unparalleled optimism, Chairman Schuyler, I am pleased to place Dr. Neely Bendapudi in nomination to assume the presidency of Penn State University on or before July 1, 2022. Thank you, Vice Chair Kleppinger. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, I will ask the board staff to please distribute a resolution on this matter. For each of you is a resolution to appoint Dr. Neely Bendapudi as Penn State's next president. For the benefit of board members in attendance via Zoom and the public in attendance or watching via Zoom, let me read the resolution into the record. Resolved that the Board of Trustees hereby approves Dr. Neely Bendapudi to the position of president of the Pennsylvania State University effective on or before July 1st, 2022 on substantially the terms set forth in the presidential appointment terms recommended by the Subcommittee on Compensation and presented to the board in executive session. Trustee Kleppinger has nominated Dr. Nominated Dr. Neely Bendapudi as Penn State's 19th president. 
We'll turn to Trustee Bill Oldsey for a second. Bill, would you like to join us here on the podium for that second? Good morning. Thank you, Chairman Schuyler. Today I have the notable honor as trustee and member of the Presidential Recruitment and Selection Committee of seconding the nomination of Dr. Neely Bendapudi as the next and 19th president of Penn State University. It is often noted that the presidency at Penn State is one of the finest and most important jobs in public higher education. The caliber, the quality, the number of accomplished candidates that expressed serious interest in becoming our 19th president is certainly a testimony to that fact. It was rewarding to be a part of this incredible search and to meet such a diverse and talented slate of highly qualified academic leaders. It was also gratifying to watch one particular candidate during our rigorous process as she rose to the very top of our list. Neely Bendapudi is the whole package when it comes to remarkable university leadership. And she has demonstrated this in so many meaningful ways. Neely's body of work at the University of Louisville has been superb. She's faced a number of significant challenges, both financial and organizational, since her arrival there in 2018. And her ability to collaborate, to problem solve, to innovate, and to lead are very well documented. Neely's preparation for every single discussion and meeting that we had with her was impressive. She did her research and her homework each and every time. She mastered the content contained in the Next Gen Penn State report that David Kleppinger referenced a few minutes ago. And she developed innovative and thoughtful preliminary ideas for how we can soar to even greater heights as a world-class university. I commented to Neely at one point about her impressive degree, the d impressive degree to which she had prepared for our discussions. Her response was quick, Bill, it's Penn State. I'm in this 110%. It's the career opportunity of a lifetime. Neely's leadership style is high energy to say the least. She exudes an authentic, infectious enthusiasm for Penn State and our future. She knows instinctively how to genuinely connect with people, and she did so with those of us on the committee and beyond. By the end of my first breakfast meeting with uh, where Trustee Duran and, and Casey and I were with Neely, uh, we'd had maybe an hour over breakfast, and I felt as though I'd known her for at least a year. The connection was that strong. I'm proud to be an alumni elected trustee at Penn State. I'm equally proud to be a townie, as we say here in State College, born and raised and now once again a resident. I'm also the proud son of a former Penn State professor and faculty member. And I get this, the, the real honor of chairing and being a longtime member of Academic Affairs Research and Student Life. So I'm a very lucky person because I get to spend tons of time with our Penn State students. Why do I mention these things today? I mention them because during the past year, as we planned and conducted this presidential search, I constantly con considered these constituencies our alumni base, our community and our town, and the gown, town and gown relations, our world-class faculty and staff, and lastly, of course, the very finest students in the United States. Always I ask the same question when thinking of the candidates and making decisions. Is the fit there? Will this new leader resonate with and have great fit with these crucial groups? The answer for me is a resounding Yes, Dr. Neely Bendapudi fits with Penn State and with Penn Staters everywhere throughout the world. And I'm honored to second her nomination as the 19th president of Penn State University. Thank you, Chair Schuyler. Thank you, Trustee Oldsey. We now have a motion and we have a second. Any discussion from members of the board? Okay, before I call uh, for a formal vote, I would like to allow time for comments from a few of our university colleagues who served on the Presidential Recruitment and Selection Committee and who represent our institution's key constituencies. 
faculty, staff, students, and alumni. Each will offer unique perspectives on Dr. Bendapudi that I hope you'll find helpful before voting today. To begin with, will Nicholas Rowland please join me? Dr. Rowland was elected to the Board of Trustees as an academic trustee in July. He is a professor of sociology at Penn State Altoona and served as chair of the University Faculty Senate. Nicholas? Thank you, Chair Schuyler. It was an honor serving on the Presidential Recruitment and Selection Committee, and I'm pleased to share my thoughts now. As a professor at one of Penn State's great Commonwealth campuses and with my experience in Penn State's University Faculty Senate, I was very interested in Dr. Bendapudi's connection to and understanding of faculty, research, and shared governance. On every count, I found her to be warm, forthcoming, insightful, and collaborative. Dr. Pendapudi has stellar academic and research credentials, and she is committed to the recruitment and retention of outstanding faculty. She, is intr she intrinsically understands the importance of interdisciplinary research, along with the value brought by our medical college and medical centers, our law schools, our libraries, and all of our colleges and campuses. She is committed to building our reputation as an international leader in research and development across all disciplines at Penn State. Dr. Bendapudi also sees the critical importance of, Penn, of higher education's role as a means of social mobility, and she recognizes the special role that the Commonwealth campuses play in this effort. Her commitment to preparing students from all segments of society for success is central to her vision of higher education. I myself am confident that her experience with a multi-campus system at the University of Kansas and her long tenure as a faculty member at The Ohio State University have prepared her to effectively leverage our Commonwealth campuses to further Penn State's land-grant mission. So, Dr. Bendapudi, welcome. I look forward to working together for the benefit of Penn State's students, faculty, staff, and alumni. Thank you, Chair Schuyler. Thank you, Trustee Rowland. Will Aaron Bose please join me here on stage? Aaron is studying international politics and economics and is the current president of the University Park Undergraduate Association. Aaron, any comments from you? Thank you, Chairman Schuyler. It is my absolute honor to voice my support for Dr. Neely Bendapudi as the 19th president of the Pennsylvania State University. My first impression of Dr. Bendapudi is that she's a president I would want to learn from. Therefore, I would want to share with you three lessons I've already learned from my time with Dr. Bendapudi. The first lesson revolves around the impact of institutions of higher education on student <laughs> success post-graduation. She said that while most schools are about knowing, some are about doing, but very few exemplify the importance of being. Knowing schools teach you a lot, but they don't teach the application of skills. Doing schools teach you a craft or a practice, but students leave without the ability to retool if the world changes. The most impactful schools, however, focus on being and becoming. They use the opportunities inside and outside of the classroom to maximize the capabilities of students to successfully apply and pivot their skills for real world, real world scenarios. The second lesson that Dr. Bendapudi taught me was when she first learned herself in which a leader can never communicate enough. She does everything in her power to be accessible to students because as she said, if a student is truly in a bind, doesn't know where to turn, I want to know that there's someone there for them. And as the head of the institution, I think it's my responsibility to be accessible to students. The third, but certainly not the final lesson that Dr. Benedict taught me is that institutional transformation occurs through investing in people. Both my personal interactions and the insight provided by her peers have proven to me that Dr. Bindapudi will attempt the impossible for her community, especially when students' best interests are on the line. Consider that she doubled need-based aid, bolstered emergency student funds, and committed to making the University of Louisville the nation's premier anti-racist university. These are just some examples of her transform transformational power. But what is most remarkable is her ability to personally connect and value every person she interacts with. I'm confident that Dr. Bendapudi will be a next generation transformational leader by bringing these lessons and many more to life at Penn State. Dr. Bendapudi is an authentic servant leader who will inspire past, 
current and prospective students. I'm thrilled to support her for the Penn State presidency, and I hope you join in my enthusiasm to welcome her to the Penn State community. Thank you, Aaron. I would like to invite David Hahn to the podium to say a few words. Dr. Hahn holds an undergraduate degree from Penn State, his medical degree from Harvard Medical School, and an MS in Health Evaluation Sciences from Penn State. He is Professor Emeritus for Penn State Colleges of Medicine and Engineering. In 2019, was named to the Board of Directors of Penn State Health. Dr. Hahn? Thank you, Chair Schuyler. It's been my privilege to see Penn State through the lens of a student, an alum, faculty member, a trustee, and now what I'm most proud of as a parent. And as I've engaged with Penn State's many stakeholders, the common denominator has always been the commitment to Penn State's historic land-grant mission of service to the Commonwealth and the greater good. Dr. Ben DePuti clearly shares this commitment. In particular, she fundamentally understands the importance of our academic medical center to the well-being of our citizens and the economy of the Commonwealth. We have seen other organizations and healthcare systems benefit from her background in marketing, banking, and business. She has seen and she has managed the challenges and complexities of a large integrated healthcare delivery system. This solid leadership experience is critical as Penn State Health and the College of Medicine move forward in an ever-changing healthcare environment. And this, along with her commitment to creating an environment that is a great place to learn, a great place to work, and a great place to invest, makes her incredibly well-suited to lead Penn State forward. I know you will all join me in supporting her and welcoming her to the Penn State family. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hahn. Uh, next, I would like to ask Trustee Randy Houston to say a few words. Randy is the immediate past president of the Penn State Alumni Association, and he's an intellectual property lawyer, as well as a musician and a composer, playwright, and actor. Randy? Thank you, Chair Schuyler. I don't think I need to tell anyone listening that Penn State alumni and friends are a passionate group. We have a great respect for Penn State traditions. We're forward-looking, loyal, innovative, and opinionated. We also like sports, all of them. Football, softball, wrestling, hockey, soccer, fencing, you name it. Penn State alumni love their Nittany Lions. I'm very pleased to say that I believe Dr. Ben Deputy will fit right into the Penn State family. She cares deeply about the history of this institution and is eager to engage with the largest dues-paying alumni association in the world. She also has experience with Division I athletics, and she sees the importance of supporting student athlete success in the classroom and in competition. We often talk about the Penn State family, and as president of the Penn State Alumni Association, I saw the power and the passion of that Penn State family in action. So I hope you'll join me in welcoming Dr. Pudi, Dr. Dendapudi and her family into the Penn State family. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Uh, finally, I'd like to invite Lorraine Goff, Penn State's Vice President for Human Resources and Chief Human Resources Officer to say a few words. Lorraine. Thank you, Matt. I have spent my career in the field of human resources, and I take pride in my ability to assess the sincerity, readiness of a candidate during the interview process. One of the first things that impressed me about Dr. Benda Pudi was her candor, genuine warmth, intelligence, work ethic, and charisma. She is truly people-centric, and as a leader, She's concerned about all those who live and work at our institution. In addition, she has a data-driven and analytical outlook that is crucial for leading an enterprise as large and complex as Penn State. At the university, where people comprise 
the vast majority of our day-to-day -day operations, I am delighted that we have found a leader who is efficient and effective and can still personally connect with people across all areas of our university. And I am confident that she will lead with the vision, kindness and pragmatism that will help our faculty and staff reach their fullest potential. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lorraine, and I want to thank each of our commenters uh, for being such a pivotal part of our search process. Thank you all very much. I would like to add that Trustee Mary Lee Schneider played a key role in the Presidential Search and Recruitment Committee and on the Subcommittee on Compensation. Mary Lee is unable to present this morning due to a prior commitment, but I would like, uh, to, uh, like the record to reflect that Trustee Schneider has indicated to me that she is fully supportive of Dr. Ben Deputy as well as the terms of her appointment. Trustee Valerie Detweiler likewise could not be with us today, but has separately voiced her enthusiastic support. As you know, we do not uh, permit proxy voting at Board of Trustee meetings, but I thought it was important that the sentiments of these trustees on this very important matter be included in the record of the meeting. Are there any other comments from trustees? Trustee Brown. Mr. Chairman and fellow board members, years ago when I worked for IBM in Raleigh, I used to tell our plant manager, Bill Crest, by the way, a Penn State alum, Production minus marketing equals scrap. If you build it and no one markets it, what are you going to do with it? So today I intend to vote for Dr. Neely Bendapudi to be Penn State's next president because as an academic leader and professor of marketing, she will help fill some of those 5,000 empty seats at our Commonwealth campuses by marketing SAP at Brandywine, railroads at Altoona, wildlife at Dubois, and so much more. That will in turn address affordability as those empty seats are worth $90 million additionally per year. Marketing and fundraising go hand in hand. She will attract and maintain top faculty by marketing our billion dollars in research. This will improve our rankings. She's a major sports fan and will embrace success with honor. She has a track record of supporting veterans. Her Greek system at Louisville is highly successful because of Neely's leadership. She will restore Penn State's Greek system to its former glory. And of course, she will embrace equity, inclusion, and diversity like no one before. Mr. Chairman, I intend to vote enthusiastically for Neely as Penn State's next president. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Brown. Any other comments from trustees? All right, hearing none, I will call for a vote. It is okay, Jay. I will now call on a vote to appoint Dr. Neely Bendapudi, President of the Pennsylvania State University, effective on or before July 1st of 2022. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The motion carries. On behalf of the Penn State Board of Trustees and the Penn State community at large, it's a great honor to welcome Dr. Neely Bendapudi and her husband. And to welcome her husband, Venkat Bendapudi. Along with their daughter, Sarisha. Doctors Ben Deputy and Sarisha. I also want to indicate that their son-in-law Kyle Ladd and their adorable grandson Arjun are with us via live stream this morning. Welcome on behalf of the Penn State community. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Neely Ben Deputy, Penn State's 19th president, to the podium. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Chairman Schuyler. Thank you, Board of Trustees. Thank you to the Recruitment and Selection Committee and indeed to the entire Penn State community 
for welcoming me here so warmly. Being president of this institution is a sacred trust, and it's truly the honor of a lifetime. I am in awe of Penn State's We Are spirit and of the transformative power of a Penn State education and of the Penn State community, which is like no other anywhere. I could not be prouder or more excited to join this vibrant community of outstanding faculty, staff, students, and alumni throughout the Commonwealth and well beyond. I know this is an amazing place. I really do. And I'm so grateful, so very grateful to President Barron for his outstanding work and for his leadership in preparing this university for excellence in the 21st century. President Barron, I recognize my good fortune in taking the reins at this time and from you. And as is true with every successive leader, it is now my mission and my commitment to help Penn State reach even greater heights, and that too across each and every one of our campuses. This morning, you all heard quite a bit about my background and my experience. So for a few minutes, I'd like to tell you about me so you get to know me a little bit better. Let's begin with my name. Everybody here gets an A plus, you did so well. <laughs> it is Neely Bendabudi, and it is phonetic, and I tend to go by Neely, which actually, you can Google it, means blue. So as you can see, <laughs> it seems like I was maybe born to wear and cheer on the blue and white. I also grew up in a state in India called Andhra Pradesh, which is known as the rice bowl of India, an agricultural state. And so I am very appreciative of the agricultural sector and of Penn State's long-standing excellence in this area. My family is here, you heard. My husband, Dr. Venkat Bendapudi. We've been married just 37 years, <laughs> and uh, I've got him trained now, I think. <laughs> Uh, uh, my partner and my rock. Our daughter, Sarisha, is here, and you heard that watching on live stream are my son-in-law, Kyle Ladd, and our grandson, nine-month-old grandson, Arjun. This is a completely objective opinion, but I think Arjun is already showing great promise. <laughs> I think he will qualify for an academic scholarship, a football scholarship, and an arts scholarship at Penn State, I'm pretty sure. I'm also so pleased to introduce Dr. Michael Wade Smith, who will join me as my chief of staff. This will be the third institution where he has held this role, and I'm very grateful he's agreed to do this. Please don't hold it against him, but he is an honor grad honors graduate of UPenn. <laughs> as I look ahead to my first days in Old Maine, I'd like to share three of my guiding principles core values. First of all, I truly am invested in student success and the student experience. My vision is to create an environment where every single student can achieve their human potential. Education truly is the key to social mobility, and it's vitally important that great universities prioritize access, affordability, diversity, and inclusion as we prepare students for success, and we prepare them across all segments of society. Throughout my career, in the academic world, in the corporate world, I've been a champion for opportunity, and uh, I've always had a relentless focus on inclusive excellence. To our students, please know your accomplishments in academics, in athletics, in the arts, in civic engagement, they inspire me. And your success will always be my greatest priority. Joining this phenomenal land grant university will allow me to continue that focus on student success. And I love the fact that I get to build on the work of Penn State leaders, faculty, staff, alumni, and the donors who prioritize your success. Second, 
I hope you will quickly see that I am truly collaborative to my core. I am truly people-centric, or as my family sometimes teases me, an unapologetic extrovert. I will bring the same sense of curiosity and humility to the relationships that I will strive to build within the Penn State family. To our faculty, I want to tell you that I will do everything in my power to ensure that you can continue to collaborate across disciplines with ease and with a structure that is the envy of other universities. I believe we need to invest in our teaching and research missions. That's what has made this university a powerhouse on the international stage. And I cannot wait to tell that story. To our amazing staff, your work is the connective tissue of a large and complex enterprise. I look forward to learning more about what you do every day and how I may be able to support you. And mostly, to our loyal alumni, friends, and community partners, I know full well that you carry this institution's memories and tradition, and you light the way for success for future generations. Penn State was born out of a partnership with the Commonwealth, and it has grown and prospered by educating generations of individuals. This morning, I was so fortunate to be privy to a few of the many thousands and hundreds of thousands of stories of how Penn State has changed lives. Let's steward this incredible legacy together. I look forward to meeting you in the coming months, listening to your ideas about our shared fate, and working together to strengthen dear old state. My third area of focus is actually absolutely necessary to achieve the first two that I talked about, and that is investment. Investment by the Commonwealth, investments by our donors and friends, investment by corporate partners, and investment by every citizen of the Commonwealth. This is critically important because Penn State, we are a shared public asset and we benefit every single person within the Commonwealth. Although you heard it, I am a recovering banker. When I say investment, I'm not talking exclusively about financial investment. Although that is always necessary and always welcome. My goal is for every single Penn Stater to feel invested. Invested in our mission of teaching, research, and service. And I truly mean every single Penn Stater. From our ambitious students, our hardworking staff, our brilliant faculty, to all the families who count on Penn State for education, economic development, and so much more. Today, it's a day for tremendous joy for me, but it's also one for realism. I recognize that I, that we, have a lot of work to do as the higher education landscape continues to shift. We have to discuss, adapt nimbly and, and be agile in addressing ac issues of access, different modalities of delivering education, societal attitudes towards higher education, and so much more. In addition, the national and global challenges we faced through the pandemic have highlighted how critical a strong academic medical system is. And I cannot wait to engage with Penn State Health. And let us all say thank you to all of our healthcare workers who continue to battle this pandemic. We can only succeed as a community, and what I love is that our community is so broad and so wide. I am so proud of our Commonwealth campuses. The fact that 95% of Pennsylvanians live within 30 miles of one of our Commonwealth campuses, what a point of pride. Again, I look forward to hearing from you about how we can accomplish our goals and our priorities working together collaboratively. I'll close with a quote from one of my favorite artists, Georgia O'Keeffe, who I understand is represented in the Palmer Museum. Um, 
She said, the days you work are the best days. I couldn't agree more, and I cannot wait to get to work. Thank you for giving me the honor of being the next, the 19th president of Penn State. For the first time, it's my honor to engage in the hallowed call and response at this university. So are you ready? <laughs> I have been practicing, so you better be ready. We are. Penn State. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Neely. I think you all understand now our enthusiasm for this presidency. And on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees, we are big on filling up bookshelves around here, Neely. Uh, we have for you your first Nittany Lion that we would love to share with you. Uh, we will make sure that um, you don't have to carry it around with you all day. But on behalf of the entire Penn State Nation, uh, welcome. <laughs> and it goes without saying, we look very forward to your upcoming leadership with enthusiasm and great excitement. Neely and to the entire Bendapudi family, we are delighted to welcome you to our Penn State family. I also want to thank all of you for attending today's special session. As the matter just concluded is the only item for today's session, this special meeting of the Board of Trustees is now adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>